Uh, in my preceding video I've showed something about uh, capacitance and how to calculate capacitance. And my next video is uh, about the dielectric constant of water. Here you see a glass of water. Um, and my experiment is that I'm going to make a capacitor into this glass of water. And I do this by means of these two uh, plates. This is one copper plate. Here you see the other one. And I'm going to hang them in to the water. At first I have uh, calculated the capacitance of this um, piece of copper. And this are uh, these are the values. It's 8.4 uh, square centimeter. And we when we presume that water has a dielectric constant of 76, uh, it's it's from my book. Uh, the two plates in water with two centimeters in between should have a capacity capacitance of 28 picofarad. Um, and this capacitance comes parallel to here the tank circuit that is shown here, and that means that in practice the frequency has to go down. At first, I want to show the oscillator work at work. That's here. Here's the frequency coming out. It's a sine wave. It's approximately on 3.6. And um, now I'm going to put in the uh, capacitor plates into the water. This is one. And this is the other one. What we see now is that the oscillation stops totally. Um, and I've made this video uh, because of the reason that many people on YouTube are searching for the resonance frequency of water and making capacitors into um, a can with water or so. But what I want to show here that the, the oscillation stops when we have water as dielectric medium. Though According to the calculations, it is 28 uh, picofarad, but my oscillator stops totally. When I take it out, you can see that the um, oscillation is back again. So my conclusion is that water has a dielectric constant, but is a very uh, peculiar medium and not uh, comparable with other dielectric uh, media like paper or glass or something. And to show this anew, uh, I made this um, test. Here you see a wire, and with this wire, I'm going to shortcut the coil of the oscillator. And now there's still an oscillation. And it's on a very higher frequency, it's on 10 uh, megahertz because of uh, this wire is also a coil, but the whole combination resonates on a higher frequency because this is a shorter coil. But um, the great difference with water is that the oscillation stops totally. So when I, um, here you see it stops. So when I solder this, these wires together, there is an oscillation. I put it now here, together, you can see there is an oscillation. And it is on 10 megahertz. But when I put it in water, the oscillation stops. It's totally gone. Though water has a dielectric constant. So my conclusion is again that water is a peculiar element for all these kinds of uh, experiments in which people try to uh, find the oscillation frequency of water and my presumption is that there is no oscillation frequency of water. 
I wish you luck.